Hello, I think it is time for a little life update. after separating from my husband in five years. I'm 30 years old, living in my childhood bedroom, and in the process of figuring out my life. Rebuilding, making moves towards the future, and the vision that I have for myself. It has felt really good to finally be settled down a little bit again, even though this is obviously not the permanent solution. But for a while, it did really feel like I was kind of living between two worlds. My old world had already fallen apart, but my new world was not put together yet. And I certainly wouldn't describe this as put together, but I do have a little bit more stability in my environment and my day-to-day -day now, which is so, so nice. But this transition was not without its challenges, of course. There's also been things going on behind the scenes that I am still kind of working through and I'm not really ready to talk about just yet, maybe one day. But one major life lesson that I have learned during this transition period is how to really let go. I think so many of us are used to grasp onto things in times of uncertainty. We want something to hold on to, and understandably so. During times of intense fear or instability, we often try to comfort ourselves by feeling more in control. But control often is just a band-aid solution that doesn't actually give us what we're looking for. And to let go means to be in that pain or discomfort that we're feeling, to allow ourselves to experience it fully without trying to escape it or make it go away. It's about presence. It's about being here with it and being open to that full spectrum of emotion and experience that we as humans have. Actually, there's a book that a friend of mine recommended to me as I was going through this transition period, and it is called When Things Fall Apart by Pima Chodron. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it was a very helpful book. It really helped me cope with and manage a lot of things that I was feeling. And you know, I've got a bunch of <laughs> sticky notes in here. So obviously I got a lot out of it. One of the quotes that really stuck out to me was this one that says, if we're willing to give up hope that insecurity and pain can be exterminated, then we can have the courage to relax with the groundlessness of our situation. And then in another part, she also writes, when it hurts so bad, it's because I'm hanging on so tight. What really stuck with me was that idea of hopelessness in a weird way, because you would think that during a hard time, like having hope um, is kind of what keeps you going. But I think hopelessness in the sense of not expecting or wanting that pain to go away as quickly as possible, not hoping that it will go away, but simply learning to accept it and feel it and be with it. Hopelessness in that way, I think has actually been such a pivotal mindset shift for me that has really helped me to accept where I'm at and let go of the need for things to get better right away or to feel better right away and have any like timelines for how long that stuff is going to take. So that really changed things for me. And also just the idea of things hurting when we hold on to them tightly when we are unwilling to let go and then we let go and actually ironically that was when things kind of started getting better for me is when I stopped trying to make them get better and I just accepted the fact that there was all of this stuff coming up and I just sat with it I let it be there I let go of trying to hold on to anything at all and when you let go you can finally I guess you can kind of like fall and reach solid ground. If you keep hanging on, you're just going to keep hanging on and dangling there. But you have to let go to find that solid ground again. And in a weird way, that's like what really helped. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense explaining this. Basically, when we ignore our pain or our discomfort, it doesn't just go away because we're ignoring it. It needs to pass through us. And so it's going to keep knocking at our door until we let it in. It takes some faith and some trust to know that just because you let it in doesn't mean it's going to stay there with you forever. That was definitely a fear of mine that once I allow that pain to be there and sink into it a little, what if it's there forever? What if I never find my way out of it again? What if it just becomes so overwhelming and so consuming that all the things that I was trying to hold on to are lost forever? And 
Obviously, my brain knows that's not true. My logical mind is like, no, of course things aren't going to get better. But when you are in the depths of it, it's really scary to let go and allow yourself to be in the depths of it because you do have to have a level of faith that you like find your way to the surface again. And I think that's just another example of how faith and trust in yourself, in life, in the goodness of your future is so important to have and to cultivate because in moments like that, you are really going to need to rely on that to be able to move through the things you need to move through and to be able to move forward. Another thing that has kept me moving forward through some of those dark moments has been finding joy in the little things. Finding joy amidst the hard times can be difficult, especially when the things that you normally find joy in are no longer joyful and then you really do have to find the tiniest little glimmers of things that seem almost insignificant or like they don't matter or almost like they are too small to make a difference but in those moments those are the things that really do like just noticing the soft coziness of a blanket or how warm a mug of tea is in between your hands or seeing a bit of blue sky after a week of really gloomy weather it did feel a little silly sometimes to just be like oh my gosh i can't believe that was the thing that gave me a glimmer of hope and happiness today or that that is the thing that kept me going or that was the moment where I found a little bit of joy when the big things aren't doing it for you. Sometimes those little things are really what you need to come back to, like your body and your senses. I think in hard times, it's really easy to kind of get caught up in our head and our brains and forget that actually our body still does have the capacity to feel pleasure, to feel joy, to appreciate things, even if our mind is struggling to do so. Anyways, on a lighter note, <laughs> I have been going back to the gym, which has been amazing. I didn't go for a few Few months after I moved but for the past I don't know month or month and a half I've been going quite consistently and oh I love feeling strong again or at least stronger <laughs> getting stronger physically also helps me feel like I'm getting stronger mentally as well and so it's just like a win-win all around I have also taken a step towards some future goals by enrolling in a creative writing course nothing crazy it's not towards a degree or anything it's just one of UFT's continuing education courses and that has been so amazing. I've actually been documenting the experience so keep an eye out for a video about that coming soon. I feel like every step of this transition has just taken much longer than I expected it to and I think that maybe has to do with the fact that I personally just wanted to skip all the hard parts, all the challenging parts, all of the uncomfortable or unpleasant parts and just get to the other side already where I am thriving and living my best life. And while I'm certainly working my way towards that, I think it's also really important to just be honest with ourselves and to acknowledge that transformation takes time. We cannot rush it and often rushing it just causes us to head in the wrong direction and it doesn't matter how fast you're going if you're going the wrong way so we're going slow and steady right now but also persistent dedicated and with a lot of intention and clarity so that's my update for now i know i have been slacking on the videos a little bit and honestly it has been so hard to feel motivated and inspired during this time but i'm working on it okay i promise i'm working on it i appreciate you you being here as always and I am really excited to take you along this journey of rebuilding my life. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye!